Hello, my dear men, welcome to part 11 of Fallout New Vegas, and oh, that's it. I saved there on the off chance that there were enemies out here, but... Because I didn't want to have to deal with them before actually logging off. Um, so it should be in 15, so we're on to... 16, which is the Persephone Splicing Lab. Which, again, so 15 is here. 16, for some reason, has to be over here. I mean, I'm not sure if the person that made the cheat sheet. Like, I didn't actually read the post, I just looked up. Like, this one just loaded up the image. <coughs> That's a. My aggression is increasing geometrically. Do you hear me, Sing Sang? I really need to repair that. Because there's a Cazador's in there, and I actually do need to kill the Cazador's. <sighs> I mean, I guess I don't need to kill them now, now, but I do need to at some point. Again, one thing I do like about Old World Blues is you can look at the map and kind of just know exactly where everything is. Like, even if you don't have Explorer or anything, you can be like, okay, there, there. There's no location that's hidden there. <sighs> even the places that have nothing, you can look at it like, oh yeah, there. There's one leading there. You get there. There, 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 there. If you want to fight me, you can come in here, you bastards. So it was kind of half looking at it like, uh, yeah, the... I 
the ant stay backpack might not be the most useful to have taken since you know sometimes I don't really deal with specifically shotguns but in the instance of I guess like this against Kazros I have it. Okay, you know what's bad? When you think you've got it set to very easy casual. Let me get tied in two hits. Uh, <coughs> let's see what it is in. So let's just look this up. DNA splicing lab, even though I have the thing idea. Yeah, I still just need to do a little something. I did. I saw I was going to stream a little earlier. <coughs> but finally in the episode of Emol Guild finally decided it wanted to update and actually play. So it's like yeah, yeah. I'll watch that first. And poor Key. He gets a half decent party member. He's just like, oh yep, finally just you know have a useful party member. That's cute. And it's a boy, and he's just like, <laughs> he just runs off like, no. But the new member is so cute. I <sighs> seriously so need to get the right shotgun. No, still more casuals down here. I just wanted to heal a little. And of course, we're gonna have to return every three days to kill them because of the casual hunter park. Hey, those things are fast. Oh, 
<laughs> oh shit. I mean, they can't open doors, right? That's actually a pretty good strategy for you. In here, we have the big bad cows at all. First one, 73. Hit him with the stay back. Reload. Wait till action points ready. Psycho, I shouldn't need meta. You know, this thing, I do want to keep. I'm actually not. Uh, it should actually work if it's broken. I actually have no idea. But that essentially gives us quite a decent chunk of healing, and it makes our head all fuzzy. Alright, so let's see. Notable loot. Uh, the auto dock implant. Not exactly the best loot to get here, but uh, could be worse. Which we're gonna kinda need for dead money since it increases um, calling speed. Had I just had one more, I could drop that as a stack and move them. But as it stands, 
it may as well just be easy doing it this way. Persephone and oh now oh, it's Persephone. Why do I keep calling it Persephone? Right, enemies nearby. Let's do this Beowulf Fools. Attack me. With a fist. I'll attack you with a fist. I mean, I'm not gonna take my armor for you, but, you know.
I will sleep one more day just on <coughs> the off chance that I'll make sure that the Kazadors respawn. So after what's sixteen, so we're on to seventeen, which is <coughs> again halfway across the fucking map. Because I have no idea why. Oh so like Fucking A. This is like they have respawned. And then the realization set in. They have respawned. Fuck. Bob Dark. I need to get more ammo for this, or at least make more ammo. The hell was I? Hold on. Location is the X thirteen research study. Ah, but we are back.
anyone who can understand these messages. You do not belong here. We will find you. And I'm um, back and for some reason. I don't know why did I, why did I exit? Even the shotgun not being the best shotgun around. I mean, in terms of shotguns, it's pretty decent. Kick. 
Can I hit you? Apparently not. The downside to the hunting shotgun is just that it doesn't stop its reload. You have to manually fire the fire to stop it and fucking hell. How the fuck was the shotgun barely doing anything against this damage threshold? What the hell? Might I be of service? Might I be of service? I am going to have to be careful with that sink. So, the sink has a bug. It's pretty much one of the few that... Um, it's one of the few merchants. It will have as many caps as you put into it doesn't restock its caps but it has a bug or if it goes over uh, 
um, 32k. That then you don't get any more money from it. So, I am now pretty much stuck not being able to sell anything or repair anything until the end of this DLC in which I will be making up a lot more caps. No, let us have a look at notable loot there in X13. So apparently there are several Nuka Cola victories. And this is uh, another reason as to why. We went there first, because if not, then we would have had to go all the way back. Which, if you look at it, so if you came here first, saw this, you would have had to go on all the way back to X13, and then come all the way back. Can I? I can if I have a lock picking on. I don't think I do. And then go on all the way back. No one would be able to get it up to that high, even with all the drugs. So, battle blue. Right, so we need to find out where the force field is. As uh, there's a singular battle blue up there, and then more down below.
Oh yeah, I actually do need to clear off those two. I think there's only like two. Um, I think there's only these two in Old Old Blues. Why oh, no. I did get that. Um, <sighs> is there any more in Old Old Blues? Alright, it doesn't actually look like it. So that's another three books marked off, even though I forgot to mark off the other one. Now it mentioned that there is a battle brew on the force field. Don't exactly know where it's about on the force field, but it is somewhere here and I just realized if I have to put on the suit, I'm gonna be stuck with this suit or hope that I have something better back at base because my right gear is broken so that's gonna suck okay it says that there's a battle brew on top of the force field no idea where I have absolutely no idea, so I'm just going to ignore it. I don't exactly know what makes the doggy treat rare, but apparently there are three in here, so of course, even though my hunt for every unique item is completely dashed due to it despawning, I at least like getting whatever I can. Oh, which means I'm going to have to make an entirely new game. But I'm not going to be streaming that. I 
Oh, it's up there. Okay, yeah, that makes a lot more sense now. And as you can... I like the setup of this. It's just like, ooh, spooky. And then you get further and it's just like, oh, Night Stalkers. But stealthy Night Stalkers.
Might I be of service? Right. Yeah, 
I know that there is a bit of notable loot. In that vent right there. <coughs> so. I got it first go. And I guess oh, there's nothing here. Nothing here yet. Um. Oh, it's not something major that's gonna pop up for a while. Yeah, there's a hack these now. I stole my bobby pins. Fuck, why did I not get them back? Alright, so. Don't care so much about stealth boys. Oh, the red doggy tree. Only one. Only one spawn. Um, no, it's about like two bottles of Nuka Cola Victory. Don't think I stored them, so yeah, I need to find one more Nuka Cola victory. And the rest look like they are on terminals up above in the observation area. I am also kind of hoping that I will get another level just from hacking these.
<sighs> so, all I'm playing this in the background, I'm watching The Amazing Race and uh, The Amazing Race Australia Season 2. Because for some reason, Season 1 not available in Australia. I don't know why. And hooked up to a part, and it's just like, if the mistakes are very obvious, like the judge is very particular. If the mistakes are very obvious, then you're out. And it's just like, no shit. If the mistakes are fucking obvious, and then obviously you're out. to just sort everything out once I'm actually done with this DLC. <sighs> I got some probably done the DLC. I'm gonna sort out all the aid stuff, just everything like that. I'm somewhat particular with OCD in games, everything has to be where it needs.
the fact there's actually some stuff in those vents. I'm not gonna lie. I thought that there wouldn't be. Now, I think I'm missing an irradiated... Sunset Sarsaparilla. Um. Hello, ma'am. Hi, dear. I think I did get the implant and stuff like that. See, I think the only thing that I'm really missing. I do. No, I think I'm missing the sunset sarsaparilla part. Which it says in the room above the Repcon manager's office. Should be here. Did I not get it? Or did I already get it and just not? I don't think I stored it, did I? Oh, no. Apparently I did get it. Hi. Pretty sure that is everything. Now I can start the test.
Definitely a lot easier taking this axe as opposed to trying to get a shotgun. Destroy this one. doesn't know what
Destroy this one, I'll make more. I wouldn't even use binary to describe my exponential hatred for you.
Alright, that is everything from there. 18, which is... what is 18? Eighteen is the sink balcony, which why it's not the first thing. No idea. No why the think tank isn't the think tank is twenty six. Eighteen is the balcony. I don't know man. Alright, so nineteen is the hazmat training ground. So Which, of course, if you played Dead Money, this is the outfit that the ghost people wear. I'm going to be right back.
And we are back. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm assuming that I ended up dead over there. Now again, I'm watching Amazing Race. And one of the stairways that entered the race partway through are a couple of bodybuilders. Their tagline is, we're here to show not all bodybuilders are stupid meatheads. As they proceed to get lost, several times essentially get eliminated twice like they've been bottom of the barrel twice oh yeah pretty much just down in the bottom of the barrel and yet this somehow they managed to get it like even with the current episode that I'm up to. <sighs> they get a salvage pass. Which... For them is essentially... They get to take the next one a little easier. They're still lost. And the salvage was someone else carries their bag. And the thing that has to carry this heavy bag came in first. down. Alright, um... <sighs> oh, the gun is loud. Is that better? It, yeah, watch it. Honestly, I'd much rather be watching the American Amazing Race. Yeah, simply because it goes longer, there's more of it, but, you know, due to copy reasons, literally couldn't hear you talk, no. <sighs> you know, standard copyright procedures about, oh, can't show this in your country because fuck you. And it's just like... Do you seriously wonder why people pirate stuff if this is how you act? People, ideally, personally, me, ideally I don't want to pirate stuff. I don't want to load up anime and be like... Or trying to find an old cartoon. Like, Pirate mode. I'd much rather pay something to watch them. 
Why have these not grown in yet? I don't know. But, you know, honestly, it was up to me. If there was a streaming service that cost a hundred bucks a year and it had everything on, full list, the entire curated stuff of everything. It had anime, sub, dub. It had... You know, cartoons, um, movies, just everything. Yeah, I'd pay roughly... 100, 200 a year? Because, let's be honest. Given what we're paying for subscriptions. Essentially, that actually Might comes up to more. Alright, 21. Nothing of interest, and yet again, 21 is over on this fucking side right here. Oh, no. About there, actually. Well, let's have a look. Hex uh, Hexacre Archipelago. Um, Yeah, really nothing there. But seriously, I would pay for, you know, a streaming site that was just everything on. But sadly, they have to cut it up between, oh yeah, you want this? Paramount. You want this? Netflix. This? MGN. Amazon. <coughs> and sure, grand total. Because it goes monthly. Mm, so next one's the Toxic Planet. So, like, all up, that would come up to way more.
Yeah, I did mention that Season 1 was unavailable. A Season 1 of The Amazing Race Australia. Unavailable in Australia. Like, for some reason. catch this to waddle but again like if there was an area where literally you could just watch everything dude a hundred percent I'd be down to pay for that subscription it's the fullest of like every show that you can think of um, I'm not gonna do barter because we're only one level away from maxing that. Let me double check how many barter books we have. So it should be Tales of a Junk Town. Alright. So we are missing two. That's eight points. Yeah, we don't need to do barter. We're missing two. We have the thing to create one. And Paramount Plus is all 34 seasons in America. Yeah, American Paramount Plus. Not Australian Paramount Plus. Like, I would love to watch all 34 seasons of the American. But, the fucking... Who, who cares? You, you pay for a subscription service. You can't fucking watch all the things that they fucking... Ugh. I'm gonna need to bump up energy weapons a little. Mmm, I'm only missing one tumblers today, so yeah, I may as well do that. All right, now. Thinking of them's good eating. But at the same time, let's see how many point perks we've got. Um, can you ban that bot, sis? Oh, hey, 76, how you doing, buddy? So let's see, that's one, and then two, three, four. How many perks can we get in total? So that'll be five, ten. Alright, so I'm missing 13 more perks. Yeah, I'm 25, but we only have 13 left. So I'm trying to figure out. What would be good ones? Alright, so. 
Let's actually load up a new one. A new um, text document. Uh, so. Burden to bear. That'll be one. Uh, let's see what would be two. Um, what kind of notes you got? I'm just going over the parks to see. I want Nuka Commander. Meltdown might be good, but I'm not too sure. Jewelry rigging is going to be obsolete. Once we get the caps, we can't get that. Hand loader is Good eating is going to come into play in Sierra Madre. Um, explore. I know, like that can be a toss out park. You mentioned Atomic being good, but I don't think I'm going to run around with a lot of coyote meat and turbo. Actually, in all honesty, I think I should have perks to spare. So I want junk rounds. Um, I feel like that, um, you wouldn't recommend junk rounds. I was going to get junk rounds simply for... Or, can you just, like, do they come up with unique reloadings? Like, does it come up with unique ammo? I'm going to have a look at that before I do anything about it. Uh, yeah, that's a different perk. Yeah, that should be hand-loaded. I just want to see. <sighs> Junk rounds is a bad perk. Uh, what are the bugs?
mean, I think you may get junk ammo, but I think specifically recall it being worse than hand loaded. Yeah, I'm looking at it and it does not seem like it'd be that good. Uh, so we can get rid of that. Um. I feel like shotgun surgeon might be good in dead money because we can get some shotguns and I feel feel like they might be kind of decent to have. Uh, scrounger might also be good in dead money. Because I'm thinking a scrounger and maybe... The other one might be good for dead money, because more ammo. Um, could be, yeah, for sure. I think Rad Child is one of the best dead money perks. Alright, I will go Rad Child. Yeesh. Where is it? Right, resistance. There. Bang. Right, child. If you check out the wiki page, I think notes it may specifically says that this perk makes dead money a breeze. Alright, well, let's have a look then. It's not a dead money park. I thought it was a bad child. Let's have a look at the wiki. This perk is very beneficial if dead money is installed, since waiting or sleeping in the exterior zones restore health to restore health is not possible there. Yeah, yeah, alright. Alright, then yeah, I got it. <sighs> the only downside is that I should probably take some rad X to not die. I mean, I'm noticing it working, though. So as much as, okay, what, what one is that? Why can I up oh, there? As much as I would much rather not run around with a bunch of radiation, I will admit it does heal a lot more than that stupid fucking perk. The higher the perks, the better the ride we do. Better the region, except the downside is the more you get affected by it. Were there not still some trauma harnesses? Why is that one specifically 
different. That's a greasy two box. Yeah, like, it is going to come in handy, provided I can find an auto dock to get rid of the radiation in time. Because, like, I'm not sure how much radiation you're going to get in dead money, but if I can't get a lot, then, yeah, it's just going to be me. Trying to get there. I can remove the radiation if I find enough right away. There's always that issue to come into play. <sighs> I really need to stop being a hoarder. I don't even need this stuff. Why am I why am I trying to pick this stuff up? Uh yeah, I'm hoping that I won't need it that often. Again, uh last time I did dead money it was on easy and I kinda just sprinted forward, so Dude, seriously, I don't need this stuff. Why am I getting it? Someone explain why I'm getting it. Survivor mode is bugged when entering dead money. And you start to get... won't start to get hungry or thirsty until you eat or drink something. Hmm. How curious. Well, I guess I just will try to avoid eating anything. Oh, wait, no, because then I have to eat or I have to drink water. Yeah, and the downside is it doesn't do a lot when my health is already full. Like, uh, Cross of glove, or those common. I don't. I'm not sure if they are common. Um, I think they're a unique. Well, not unique, but kind of rare-ish. Yeah, it's just if you pick that one up. And then a couple trauma harnesses spawn. So, obviously, I'm avoiding picking it up until I can save over there to avoid getting attacked by trauma harnesses. Because I don't know if you know this. I don't like getting attacked by trauma harnesses. Pick it up. Trauma harness. Trauma harness. Trauma harness. This is why you have the wiki loaded up. So every location you visit, I literally just knocked his block off. Okay, you know what? This might actually be effective. I'm healing more than they can even damage me. That's kind of neat, actually.
Yeah, I am noticing it being effective here, and I don't need this. I am I needing. Gimme. I don't need it. Can someone send out for help? Um, I, I need to be on an episode of Hoarders, except I need help. I'm not gonna lie. If I could, I probably would hoard just everything IRL. If I had a giant mansion, or even a warehouse, uh, those are too close, aren't they? I would just have, like, there's so much stuff, it wouldn't even be funny. Really, I was trying to jump over that. You can't give me that one thing. Really, I am just trying to jump back onto that fucking pipe and you cannot give me that one jump. Really. <sighs> you know what, screw this, I'm going this way. Yeah, I suppose the debuffs can somewhat be negated. Alright, next up is Lightwave Dynamics. <sighs> Alright. I'm actually going to send a link in the Twitch chat. So, if you're still there, 76, um, have a look at that and tell me if, like, if it makes sense in which direction you're supposed to be going. Because to me, it does not make as much sense.
Um, yeah, I'll send it again. That should work. So how does someone's cheat sheet of, like, the location... No. Oh, we didn't hit the free hour mark, but we're close. So it's a cheat sheet on where to go. But if you look at it, the cheat sheet is one, two, three, four, jump over there, five. And then the sink balcony is 18. That's 26. And it's just like. Okay, yeah. Higgs Village near the end. But then that. Like, if that's the order that the person uses. Because that's the order that I'm using to get everywhere. But at the same time, it's like, I have 16 here, and then jump over, 17, jump over, 18, jump over, and you got the 20s. Actually, nothing in here, so we need light weave dynamics. <sighs> uh, so to see. I wonder. Uh, there we go. Yeah, it could be more efficient. That's kind of what I was thinking. Like, again, I'm not sure if that's the routing that they take for it. Um, so... We have a skill book here. I think um, I was asking about notes because I made them all the time for the game. Made one specifically to help making builds. I honestly, I have never taken notes. <sighs> or like any game. I think the only notes that I've got with this game are literally the skill books. Like, I've got the skill books and... the dead money cards, which I need to redo. Granted, once I do actually get up to dead money, I then have to delete half of them because it's just like, oh yeah, this card, card content, card content, card content, card content, and it's just like, the M cards, the caravan, or the end cards, um, the caravan cards, you know, like, the dead money caravan ones. I know there's a challenge for the... 
Ugh. Ugh. Dead man's hand. But I wanted to collect all of them, only to find out that half of them are cock content. And it's just like. Oh, that kind of sucks. It's like, yeah, you want to collect cards? Cut, 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 cut. I have a roll or note for those. I'm pretty sure I, I pre-cut everything. I ha I just copied them from the wiki and then delete the ones that I find. Essentially, it's what I do with the books. As soon as I get one, delete it, and then move on to the next. Now, there should be some loot at the back here. Yeah, they also bugged half end up in your inventory. Yeah, I have noticed that in my other file. sure if half this, this stuff that I'm taking is useful. I literally just take it to take it. Like, I don't even need it. I don't. I just take it. There, there's no point to it. I just need it. Uh, that's aid. I don't need aid. Because halfway across the fucking map again. It goes 22, 23, 24. Which, okay, I guess is not as bad as bang, 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 back and forth. But still. I thought I was on the other side. Turns out you cannot out heal a night stalker. Um, does this allow me to send links? Um, I think you should be able to. Out for fuck's sake. I am not lacking night stalkers. This is one of the instances where Animal Friend does actually come in handy. <sighs> like, it's not the most super useful perk, but 
Eh, it's halfway decent. Fuck off, night stalkers. Self muted. I tend to mute myself and then I either forget if I'm muted or unmuted and I start talking as I was like, why is this not working? But yeah, you should be able to send links. Like I said, I mute myself a lot and then unmute and that's just like. Because <sighs> I doubt people. Ah. I want to constantly hear me yawn. Granted, that's what I do half the streams anyway. Hello, Melina. Okay. Oh. Oh, nice. It's a full list of stuff. Assuming that this is for... Yeah, I'm assuming that this is all for things. Why? Why did you include the barter skill check for Dean? If you do that, you can't save Dean. Why would you do that? You're not... You're not supposed to. Yeah, that would be under the bottom, under notes. Y you'd think you'd have notes. With the thing... The things... The, 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 like, notes. Yes, I included it just to note. I was like, yeah. Barter for Dean. And then you put the note. Note. This makes you be able to kill Dean. Not that good. Really, Melina, it is perfectly fine for you to sleep on me, but I can't sleep on you. Every time I try, you keep meowing. I have a cat. That was a personal reference. Yeah, honestly. The first time that I did Dead Money, I saved Dean. The second time, I couldn't save Dean, so I asked my sister to Google it. And I was just like, you're not supposed to do the barter check. And I was just like, fuck. That, that, that was like several hours ago. But <sighs> uh, this is actually kind of a bit better than the video that I was following. So I was following a video to find all the stuff. And yeah, that actually is somewhat more. I usually prefer to read the stuff as opposed to watch a video. Because then I have to watch the video, pause it, go there, watch that part again, watch that part again, watch it like several 
things, and yeah, you can just go to whatever you need. But for the video, it's just like, oh, you want pats? Really? <sighs> for video walkthroughs, yeah, like, video walkthroughs are good. But with text, you can just be like, oh, okay, I need to go. I, I made the fuck up there, which the video didn't show. Wait, wait. I do apologize, my cat wants pats. She is at the mood where she just wants pats. I wish I could let you listen to her purring, but she doesn't purr that loud. Skill check section was so I know what to have my skills at before entering. Yeah, that's what I do when I enter into a DLC. I'm just like, okay, I need... Like at least this up to 75. So that's why I take the comprehension one. Because it gives you a good boost to the skill books. It's like, okay, I need this up to this. I need this up to this. Because I tried looking up Ulysses skill checks. And it's just like, this is how you save Ulysses at the end. This is how you save Ulysses at the end. How do you save Ulysses? I was like, I need to know the fucking first one. And then I had to do it like 10 billion times. Because I wanted to find the Nuka-Cola Quantum. And 10% chance my fucking ass. It took at least 20. Are you satisfied? Can I go back to playing the game now? I'm going to go back to playing the game. I am. No, I am. Don't. Don't. Nope. You want to nuzzle the controller? Okay. Well, at least she's not trying to sharpen her claws on the controller. My cat. I love her. But, seriously, she keeps trying to sharpen her claws on like the most random stuff outside oh here let me sharpen my claws on the fucking bricks Oop. plastic oh let me try and sharpen my claws on the plastic Yeah, my cat, my cat is special. She... Oh, and at the same time, literally, like, she gets so much fluff everywhere. I have no idea how she keeps producing so much fluff. But I could be scratching her, and then it's just like fluff, fluff, fluff. Every stroke is like fluff, 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 fluff. And it's just like, how do you produce so much fluff? You should not be able to produce that much fluff. And yeah, it's just fluff, 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 fluff. Fluff, 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 fluff. This is like... We should not be that fluffy. <sighs> it's only like... 9 o'clock. I should not be this tired. Uh, 
also have some other things here. No, no. So work in progress to spawn everything obtainable on my character that I can run on PC. Convert. Oh, but again, you. I am trying to wait, not be distracted by punching you guys in the face. Why? I have a fucking axe of this. Wrong thing. I mean, you, I'd be able to so easily complete this game if I use the correct stuff for the correct things. Um, everything on PC, convert that to an Xbox save, upload that through the 360 cloud to use on here. Can you do that? I have um, New Vegas on... Steam, so can you do that? Because that would be kind of cool to just like spawn in everything. As much as I, um, you can modify PC saves, convert them over, and use them on Xbox. That is actually kind of cool. As much as I don't like using cheats that often in games or exploits, I have to admit, I they are a fun little power trip. Alright though, um, I want to ask a question. Who do you reckon would win between the think tank with, uh, mainly I'm doing that because I can't use console commands. Yeah, it would be nice if you could use console commands on consoles, but sadly, no. Anyway. Back to the question. Who do you reckon would win? The think tank? With the Korea leading them? Or the institute with the sole survivor? Like if they were to go into an all out war. Institute since think tank is kind of lobotomized. See, the institute does have some good points, but um, do, 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 do. Melina, you are really. Where is it? Uh, old old blues. So if you go to the um, ending, where the fuck is the ending? Oh. <sighs> if you go into the cut ending, which I'm not sure if you could take it as canon. But you go to the cut thing. And it's just like. They do so much stuff with the courier joining them. Like, 
good springs getting crushed underneath the hexagonal things. Yeah, including the courier. Like, the courier joins the think tank, and the lone survivor joins the institute as their leaders. So, like, you know, if... I mean, even without the... cut content you'd still have to look at it because like the think tank would be able to mass create lobotomites to counter um synths giant robo scorpions robo scorpions to fight them I think that the think tank might have a good chance of winning, but that's mostly because they've been locked into one area for like, who knows how long. If you set them free, uh think that they might be able to get into there. Although, granted, if it was full on battle between the three main protagonists of the, oh, let's call them the Xbox series games between Fallout 3, New Vegas, and 4. I feel like the courier would kind of stump them all. Like, if you're going endgame build. Because endgame, Fallout 3's protagonist, I guess, has the mothership. Um access to ammo with the pit. Uh, what else would they have? The Brotherhood. Oh, a small faction of the Brotherhood. Really? <sighs> <sighs> I'm kind of struggling to think of what um, the Lone Wonder could even bring to the fight. Or as Fallout 4, you do have the Institute. Um, you're going to have to kill everything else, though. So it's either Institute, Railroad, Brotherhood, or Minutemen. You'd have an unlimited level cap, uh, an army of robots. I guess Nuka World Raiders. What are the other DLCs for it? Um, I'm not sure if Point Lookout would give much of an advantage. Because you take the Koryo and you'd have Big Mountain, um, the Holograms, the Cloud, the vending machines, robo scorpions, a bomber. Oh, I guess it depends. Fallout 4 might have Liberty Prime. Um, you'd have 
Bomber, Guava Hood, Enclave, an army of Securitrons, Great Khans, Followers. I just kind of think like the Courier would have a better system set up for a long drawn out war. Of course, without relying on straight up cheese of the set up 50 billion water purifiers and then just keep collecting them. Uh, notable loop. Only piece of notable loot here is the light switch. Good to know. I have this note. It's not finished, but location of various things, and at the bottom of the list of junk and what they can be used for in crafting. I just take everything. Don't judge me. Oh, really? You're leaving me, Melina? Really? My car has left me to decide to snuggle up on stuff. Uh, hmm. books, what you have to steal. For some reason the wiki doesn't say on the main page. I have to go to each page. Yeah, for me, I... Again, I've got a list of... Each book. The only outside, I would say, is it's not really in order. Like, it's just like, oh, you can get this in Sloan, but then you can get another thing in Sloan, as it's like, eh, you have to go each one, but it's not too horrible. Now, where is... You're gonna have to... Give me a little bit. I'm trying to look sync up. Damn it. I kind of want to go onto it. So there's this train that goes from Adelaide to Darwin. And I want to go on it. It sounds like it would be... Hold... Oh, what the fuck? Seriously? It costs about 3,700 bucks per person? 
Uh. Okay. Um. That's an expensive as shit train ride. What the fuck? I mean, for a platinum one, that's like 7,600. As much as I like trains, I honestly do not think I would want to pay almost $7,000 for a train ride. I mean, it'll be a pretty long train ride. But, yeez. Ugh. <sighs> Turn right for the entrance. Mm. Wait, did I already pick it up? this DLC today. Oh. Have you played it before or was it your first time? Uh, but how you doing, right? You doing okay, buddy? Do not approach the pylons. Pylons are the glowing things. Also, do not approach a fallen pylon. If you see a fallen pylon, call security. It was your first time. Oh, well, what do you think of it? For me, personally, it is my favorite DLC. So, I'm curious what someone else thinks of it. And it's good you're doing good, buddy. It is going to get to the point where I really need to stop just taking everything. Although, if it is your first time and so just a little tip. Do not sell too much to the sir. sink. Very good, sir. Because, alright, so if the sink goes over 32k in caps, then you're not going to be able to sell anything to it. Um, it's too short. I thought of it as decent, but I love the loot. Favorite DLC is Lone to Mode because this is my first DLC I played. Lonesome Mode is a good DLC to get into. Simply because you do get like a lot of decent gear from it in the beginning. Alright. 
Um, so that's 24. And where the hell is 20? Why is 25 there when 24 is there? This map really does not make any sense. I've learned, learned some road because it has an OP bug and this bug is an infinite missile launcher. Um, honestly, if you want infinite, like, I don't use the red rocket that much, so it might not be as useful to me. Because I'm playing on hardcore, and even with the pack rat thing, you still end up like missiles and rockets. Uh, no, like it's using missiles on the detonator. Ah, hmm. that does sound kind of interesting. I feel like punchy punchy should be good for this guy. Really? You gonna run away? Seriously? Really? Your first attempt is to run away. But I will have a look at that later, because I know I gotta kill this guy. How the hell do I become a? Oh, I don't even care. Uh, yeah, I am on Xbox. I have this game on Steam, but honestly, I would have no way of actually getting Twitch to run properly on my laptop. Like, my laptop, um, that's the wrong link. Oh, hopefully, you find the. Um, first one. Seriously, could these guys stop trying to run away from me? Dude, I just want to kill you. That should not be so hard. I guess it is nice that I'm pretty much regenerating right through their attacks, but still. It is very annoying having to chase you. How do you even know what a weapon is? You are literally a suit. You're literally just a suit. How do you know what a weapon is?
Yeah, the Photon Axe is good, especially with, like, the high amount of, uh, mechanical enemies in this one. Although, it doesn't help that most of the enemies do tend to be a bit bullet spongy. At least the Photon Inversion Axe, this one really cuts down on the amount of annoying mechanical enemies you have to deal with. Alright, we are safe. Yeah, they explode into meat. There's no meat left in them, but they explode into meaty chunks. Because I I don't know game logic, you can never question it. Uh, I think I made it. Oopsie! Uh, accidentally repaired a normal proton axe of the special one. Um. All right. Well, I'm gonna show you just a little tip if you. Uh, yeah. The fact that you can do that is honestly kind of annoying that you can repair them like that. But I will show you a little tip if you want enough caps to. So I'm not sure how much um you've played the game. I will show you a tip so that anything that needs repairing, you can pretty much just repair. So. No, oh, you played the game for years. Oh, you played it for years, but you only just got around to Old World Blues. How curious. That my cat is still not wanting to get snuggles. For me, a good bug is you need 33k in ideally 33k caps. Good job. That turns into a negative number. Under this. If we go here, and here, literally just infinite amount of money. Each time, 33k, like and no one cares. I mean, you can also do the, um... See a Madre ship glitch. But oh uh, that one might be easier to do early on. I count this apple is considered fresh. 
after being stuck down here for upwards of a hundred years I don't think unless they're adding some super preservatives into whatever they're growing I don't think that's how food works and as someone that very clearly eats food I think I can say that's not how food works I am just doing everything that I can to put off Higgs Village, aren't I? It's, uh, it's 25, okay, 6, 27. Is 27 is about. Is there? I wouldn't even use binary to describe my exponential hatred for you. Uh, I got a disc from my neighbor that had every DLC on it, but it will freeze after it gets done installing Lonesome World and Gunrunners. So I only played Lonesome World yesterday, bought Old World Blues. And beat it today. Next is Honest Hearts, then Sion Madre, then Loan to Mode, because Loan to Mode I want to buy last due to already played it. Uh, soon I played Loan to Mode, it was on 360, and I played today on the Xbox S. Uh, so you need to buy it again. Yeah, I've had that issue where I've had the DLC on disc, but you know, then you have to rebuy it once you go digital. But, um, I at least hope that you enjoy Honest Heart, because honestly, in my opinion, Honest Heart is kind of the weakest one. But, to each their own, you might enjoy it more than me. Although, just keep in mind for dead money, uh, you start out with nothing, so you go into dead money with literally nothing. But, 
it is a fun DLC, so I hope you enjoy that one. Pretty map, short story. Yeah, that, that does sum it up, kinda. Like I said, on a start, not exactly the stellar DLC it could be, but it's not too horrible. I completely forget what you even get in it though. Here, on a start, is good, Zion looks gorgeous. Yeah, I haven't played Honest Heart in, honestly, years, so. My opinion may be a little biased, but that's simply because the other three DLC are so good, and then you just have Honest Heart, and it's just... Less good, I suppose. Now I end you. You won't escape me. Dead money looks trash. Um, you yeah, haven't played it, so when I do, you might like it. Um, Dead Money is kind of more a survival horror type one. Don't go in expecting you'll be like the most OP thing there. Especially if you're playing on harder difficulties or on hardcore mode. Because the enemies scale up to your level. There aren't a lot of enemies though, which is the downside. Because they carry unique gear that you can only get there. Uh. Dead money probably does get the more the most hate on it. Yeah, like seventy six said, good story, pretty small map, challenging. Yeah, it is kind of small. Unlike the other DLCs, there's not a fast travel point. So, it's kind of focused around a small area. Third, it's a restricting DLC that points you in a direction and you have to follow because the game will punish you if you go off track that much. Yeah, unlike, um, oh. All right, so Lonesome Road is honestly pretty straightforward. Old World Blues is more open. Dead Money, you can explore. Yeah, you're free to explore, but there will be limits on what you can explore due to the cloud and things like that. So you can't just spend like 10 years looking into the cloud and hope to live. I'm going the wrong bloody way. Well, it is still a good DLC. 
So at least I personally think so. Just again, don't go in expecting that you're going to be like the most powerful thing there. This one is Z9. I have to keep looking up each thing since I want to make sure that I get everything. And then after this, there's still like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Why is this so over the place? It, it goes. It goes from this being 29, and then over here for 30, 31, that's 34. Story wise, I'd say Lonesome Road connects mainly to the Courier story because if you think about it, Ulysses is the reason you track Benny because he refused the package and said Courier 6. Yeah, story-wise, it wraps up the Korea story. Which, in a way, is kind of nice. But, again, it depends on if you prefer to have, like, a more faceless Korea as opposed to one of a story. When I do the DLC again, you're taking him as a companion because you're missing out if you kill him. Um, do you mean Le Ulysses? You can't take him as a companion. Pretty much, at most, if you spare Ulysses. Uh, you know. If you spare Ulysses, no, you have. I, I think he was supposed to be a companion, but they cut him as one. So, yeah, what do I know? Uh, no, no.
<sighs> I go the most roundabout way to find him. Uh, yeah, he was supposed to be a companion in the base game, but was cut from the final version and changed to only appear in Lonesome Road. That is weird. I don't think I've ever recruited him as a companion. But I will have to look after completing it because I have not. That's base game, they come from base game. Which makes sense why it ties the story. Yeah, I have not actually, the only DLC that I've completed recently has been Old World Blues. But I have not actually completed Mountain Mode for quite a while. I just remembered that you get a bunch of stuff off him if you leave him alive. I, I know every couple of days you can get an MRE and things like that. I am really starting to not like night stalkers. As in, I am really not starting to like them. Yeah, the fast healing rate is good until you realize you're being attacked by a Night Stalker and then your health disappears in two seconds. It's like, yeah, heal the damage, but at the same time, Night Stalker. Heal damage. Night Stalker. You damage, you're dead. That does kind of bring up an interesting point. Why are there no snakes in Fallout? I'm gonna Google that. Let's we'll see if there are.
Hmm. So the ah. Uh, you think about it, hard though, hardcore mode. How much you'd have to eat to have that, right? And now you're gonna have it as passive on top of aid. Yeah, it is good. I will give you that. The downside is Night Stalkers. I think that there are snakes in the game, just there's no image of them. try to make a sneak build or no. Again, for the most part, when it comes to my build, it's pretty much just build it and then pretty much see what it lands. I do kind of think, like, in the main game, there were so many dead containers. Like, take the top of um, the Silver Wash. You get up top there, there's a bunch of enclave containers, and you can't interact with them. It kind of feels like to make up for that, they just chuck in a ton of, you know, stuff into the DLC. So you find several of these crates, you pop them out, you can't even open them. But then you get here and it's just like, yeah, okay, there's plenty of, you know, gear. You know what? I'm not even bothering. The fuck the Night Stalkers. Am I the only one that found that funny? Stealth builds are fun and especially after you get that money done and have infinite steady. Yeah, you can get a lot of infinite stuff after dead money. <sighs> and the only downside is... So, one of the kind of down, I, why do I suck at using a shotgun? One of the downsides is just anything, is that you can't repair clothes. Ah, uh, oh. I was like, where the fuck did she go? I do not use steady that much. I have plenty of steady. I just don't use it. Plenty of steady. I 
probably should, I just don't. Not to think about the DLC, I remember what you can do. You have a sp high speech check, you can tell him to duck off and do his own stuff. Even high, you can get him as a companion. Uh, but I wouldn't pair that with a shotgun, it's kind of eh. I don't know how else to take on a Night Stalker. Alright. If you have another better idea to take on a Night Stalker, I'm all ears. I don't think that's how you cook cave fungus. Uh, yeah, you mean the steady? Yeah, no, that. Yeah, okay, I had enough steady. Uh, I think you give us your park that allows you to do more melee damage, or something like that. Um, yeah, stay back. At first, when I took it, I was just like. I just wasted a perk. I'm usually sticking to unarmed, so like I just wasted a perk. But then after it knocks back Cazadors, I I'm just like, you know, good perk. Don't care. Good perk. Minor downside is you can't give him the one two punch since it takes forever to switch weapons. And by the time you've switched weapons, they're pretty much back up. Why do I have to steal everything? You know, 76, you're supposed to be helping me not steal everything. Can I drop the fish? I can't even drop them. <sighs> you're doing a horrible job. Of keeping my hoarding in check. We. Fuck all. I am not going to memorize every item that I need. I am just going to steal every item. Okay, panic fire does not equal success. I was just like, how the hell did she manage to get Coins, and then I realized I shot them into her. Like a pig gun or hammer is complete trash and only has cap value. Oh, yeah? Fine. I'll get rid of the paint gun. There. You happy? I gave up my hoarding. Did it? I I should be on an episode of Hoarders. I made a big sacrifice. 
I know, I know. You're sending lots of love. It was very traumatic for me. Oh, so traumatic. Did I mention that my zone is forbidden to you? So forbidden. Yeah, just fill up the home of waste high items. I'm not even going to mention that I have counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 22, 22, 22, 22, like at least 25 cardboard boxes. And each of those boxes contain. Give or take, on average, two to three cups. I'm not saying that I have an issue. But did I not get the... Oh, you know, it was the implant, not for the... thing. That makes more sense. I am serious. If I had a mansion or like give or take a giant warehouse and unlimited money to play around with, I would fill it up within probably about several months. Well, that's mostly because I'm in Australia and shipping is fucking terrible. Just if you've ever tried to get anything to ship to Australia from America, it's like, hey, would you like it in 10 days? Or 10, or like an entire month? Because. Wait, why do I have a gun in there? That's it. Guns aren't supposed to be in there, what the fuck? That's for outfits. There we go. Much better. No idea why these haven't regrown yet, but we need to head back to 28. I just realized 28 has more Night Stalkers. Roxy, do you want to be useless? We can go. We can go be useless. I. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I completely forgot that I even left Roxy here. Like, 
I seriously completely forgot about Oxy. I'm not a horrible person. I just... I... Am I a horrible person for forgetting Oxy? Oh, wait, yeah, I gotta go to the kennel first. Dope. Oh, my Melino is so precious. Come on, Oxy. You got this. Oxy? Oxy? Why is it the one companion that they give you in this DLC? To help you? May as well be the equivalent of throwing tissue paper at them. Seriously, why? Oxy. You can. You can be useful. You don't have to be so utterly helpless. I don't know why you have to be so hopeless, but... Oxy, seriously. You can have some use. You got... You got this, Oxy. You don't got this. Well, fuck's sake, Oxy. Oh yeah, increased healing. So good. Very good. Healing. Healing. Night Stalkers. I know what's in the mysterious cave. I am not going there. I managed to take it out on very easy. And it still nearly killed me like five times. Oh, I know, it did kill me five times, and I managed to kill it on the six. You cannot win despite the fact that the odds are heavily in your favor. God damn, Foxy. Why? Why does Roxy have to be so bad? Why can't we get a better companion? Bad. Nope. Nope. Let's just see. Why can we not get a better companion? And instead, we get Foxy. We don't get a Mr. Gutsy. We don't get a friendly Lobotomite. We don't get a friendly Robo Brain. Or we don't get anything. Instead, it's just a Cyb Dog. I think I'd pick Roxy over Rex. If I could, too bad they can't come back to the Mojave. I mean, at least Rex has some additional benefit. You know, Rex you can communicate with, and it can have a ranged attack. With Oxy, it's essentially just, yeah, how would you like to die? Yeah, but I like the red brain. Blue is clearly superior. I don't know who is filling your head with lies, but blue... Oh, I can't even loot a corpse. Seriously. The one thing that she's actually good for. An infinite source of lootable stuff. And I can't even loot a corpse. I actually need to be right back, as I need to go to the toilet, so I'm going to be right back.
And I have returned. I need to realize. Boxy is still bloody useless. <sighs> Seriously, like, the one companion that you get that's supposed to help out with this. And she is borderline just useless. You know what? I wonder if I can just sprint through this area. Alright. What do you reckon? Sprint through or no? Speaking of random stuff though, does anyone in the chat watch anime? sister really needs a DNO. Why? A DNO. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you get it? I made a I made a DNO joke. I'm not gonna be able to sprint through this somewhere. Oh it escaped. You know, sis, you will get it one day. Sign, buddy. I was just asking if anyone watched anime. <sighs> oh, and I was also complaining that Roxy is really useless in this. Even out of, like, even on the fact that, you know, she can be rebuilt again, she still just really has no benefit, aside from, like, a two-second distraction. Uh, you haven't. Maybe one day I usually just watch sci-fi or horror films. Have you seen Stargate? I know most people probably go to Star Trek and Star Wars. Oh yes. I want to watch it again but um the streaming site that I watched it on which is Stan which is an Australian streaming site. You haven't seen the TV show. 
You should watch the TV show. Honestly, I did enjoy the TV show. But the downside is I actually have... I can look it up. <sighs> oh. Uh, let's see. Um, just the movie. I haven't reached that yet. I was watching Star Trek. You nailed that somehow. Finished the original series and started to watch the movies with the original. I have not seen a single episode of Star Trek. I'm not gonna lie. I haven't. I think like the only close thing that I've seen that would be Star Trek related is an episode of Black Mirror. Yeah, so Stargate now is only on MGM. Like you want Stargate Atlantis, SG one, MGM. That's just like okay. Just, there's really not much that I'd want to watch MGM for. But, you know, lock it behind another subscription service because. <sighs> you have to make money. Seriously, if there was just a giant. But this is why people pirate. They don't pirate because they want to. At least I don't. And they do it because there's like 50 billion streaming services, all with the different rights to different TV shows, and they have to pay. I'd honestly have no idea how much just to watch them all. Well, at least that's my logic. I don't want to pay upwards of 200 a month. And sure, you can change them out, but then you'd be stuck watching one for the entire month. And then when that's over, Cancel it, move on to another one. Yeah, just stick to one service and then binge watch it and then move on to the next. That is one way. But for me, like, I like sifting through various ones. Oh, wait. Wait, no, yeah. They should be. Why are they not targeting the. Yeah, there are night stalkers down there. Seriously? Okay, well, fuck you too then, turret. Didn't want your bloody help anyway. I, I will say this though, there is one anime side that I, I guess two, that I use to watch anime.
What is good? Oh, guys. It's very simplistic. You have... Like, we got it up. <coughs> You've got the home button, recently updated. And then, why you would look at the... the about section but you got that and the search bar it's good because it has most anime pretty decently the downside is it doesn't have a lot of uncensored ones so to view the uncensored ones I have to go to another site I uh, know I've seen not many movies probably only four to five hundred and ten to twenty TV shows Yeah, for me, I mostly watch anime, but there are some TV shows that I would like to watch. Or then you have. Lord of this institution. Like. Just as a general thing. TV shows that you don't remember the name of. Or movies that you forget the name of. Because let's be honest, Google is kind of shit. Like, I've been trying to find this one Mahjong movie. I'm just like, movie about Mahjong. Did you mean this random fucking movie? And it's just like, okay, it's about Mahjong. But not the movie that I want. I know the sites like that. I'm not using any of them. I know uh, Slash Piracy has an index page loaded with resources and sites. For everything related to that. Yeah, I just use a couple sites. I... I pay for um, streaming services. I think that gives me an exemption on some things. I completely forgot I'm supposed to be getting the bloody terminals. I'm seriously going to need more ammo after all this. Like, one of the downsides is I can't actually use a sink to repair anything. Because if I use it too much, then I won't be able to buy anything off it. So for the most part, my um, weapons are all kind of just degrading in quality. Yeah, I can use a uh, junk for weapon repair kits, but 
once I'm done with this DLC, like, I literally just need to survive to the end of this DLC, and that's it. Once I'm done, I will have enough caps for pretty much whatever I need. Alright, so that's out. You're out, you're out. So, those two are in. You're out. You're out, you're out. You're out, you're out. Alright, so it's either Whisper or Western. Like, those are the only two that I can think of. Because Warpath, A. All of them have I and G. Turns out, it was a whisper. Yeah, you can't do shit from here, can you? You are just having no luck, are you, sis? First, your Diano escapes, and then a Haunter. Uh, since time passes far on fast traveling and all that, just every few days check back at Novak in Novak and Dennis Cocker on the strip. With an endless supply of caps, I usually end up with more than enough. Yeah, but I like using the glitch method. I like just glitching in. Oh glitch in stations. I like glitching in like eight hundred hundred dollar bills every time. Which is actually kind of a lot faster than the hollow rifle one. Cause the hollow rifles, yeah you get a lot more. But at the same time You don't have to keep sifting across to it. However, my end goal for this stream... It definitely, I would have to say, is complete Old World Blues.
complete old world blues and then definitely go get sunk to eat. But then again, who knows? Like, as someone that apparently ha does not understand how food works, I just don't know how food works. How does food stay fresh after 200 years of being locked inside? It, uh, I don't. I don't know. I just don't know how an apple can stay so fresh. Like, look at this apple. How does it stay so fresh? See, Mr. 76, I have asked your question about Fallout. Please consult the wiki. Not sure. No, no, you said, you specifically said, let me know if you have any questions. I am posing a question to you, good sir. I wish to know. No, 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 don't give me the wiki didn't even say. You, you have deep dived into the wiki. You have explored pages no one could hope to explore. You must have an answer. The answer is there. I believe you can find it. And I believe I am going to have no fucking ammo after killing everything here. Yeah, yeah, you're laughing. You're laughing, but I'm still asking. Yeah, you painted yourself into a corner here, didn't you? It's like, ask me anything. I know everything about the game. But don't ask me things that have to do with the law. Nope. Nope. Can't possibly have anything to do with the law. Haha, <laughs> can that stop being... I'd say they're stopping Night Stalkers, but this is literally their thing. Are we done? Are we done with Night Stalkers on this area? Yeah, I don't read the law. I'm checking through. I don't know if they do explain it. You have forgotten the greatest thing about the law. The law has game logic. Please clear the area until and game logic dictates that it doesn't have to make sense. It just is for the game. I mean, like, you look at it, and let's see, because this is some of the things that I just kind of find 
stupid about games like this. Like, any kind of post-apocalyptic scenario. You take a look at Fallout. 200 years go by. Not a single person loots the school. Like, a school in Good Springs. Perfectly fine, safe. No one takes it. No one is just like, yep, I'm gonna go into there. It take the last of us. Which... If you want to see me complain about a game... Of the last of us. I have... Several just random clips. Up on my channel. This is like... Because I was reading the, like, just some of the general reviews, and you know what I've been told. Ellie, she's there to be useful. She's useful. She gets your items. She does this. She does that. For me, my Ellie decided she wanted to. Stand in the way. Get me killed. Be absolutely fucking useless. Oh wait. 76. A serious question here. Have you played The Last of Us 1? Because if you have, I need to know the answer to a very important law question. Um, remember it being really good. Alright. Well, I'm gonna. Haven't, but I know I've watched it forever ago. Alright, you know what? No, I'm gonna do it. Oh no, I am sure you'll have an answer to this. Alright. I am... I am sure... You will... Possibly... Have an answer. I just need to find it. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Ah, here we go. I didn't want to open the link, I just wanted to copy the link. My bad. Alright, so this one and... Alright, so... Do me a favor, watch that. Like, feel free to skip ahead a little bit. Um, if I'm not, I'm pretty sure this is the right one. I hope it's the right one. Ah, yeah. Alright, so skip ahead to about the one minute mark. Just skip ahead to that. Watch it and give me a reason. Like, just give me a reason behind that. I, I have no idea how.
place all filthy propaganda books in the incinerator chute in the sink. Especially those with funny pictures of me in them. Seriously, the first one that I go to is an allowance replenish. Uh, you're out. You're out. Um. What are you seeing? Alright, um, that... Alright, so... To confirm... That was essentially me making no noise... In the sewer, right? Like, that, that was me, just crouching there, no noise, and then I died. Because I just want to confirm that I sent the correct link. I'm pretty sure I'm dead. Pretty sure I'm dead. Pretty sure I did. But I, I just want to make sure. I just want to put it in there. Because if that was the correct one. Those enemies detect you via sound. It just seemed to wind it up there. Huh? Fucking top tier. <laughs> top tier world building. They they hear you. They hear you and for the sake of gameplay they ignore the countless fucking gunfire and go up to the player character because player character not to move me attack. It's like, I'm fucking sorry, I didn't realize I was playing dumb shit game that is so dumb shit it can't even fucking have its enemies follow its own fucking goddamn fucking behavior. Like you said, that they hear by sound, they are blind. Blind! Nope. Nope. Enemy up here, me go nibble on Joel, cause Joel big dumb stupid fucking stupid fucking game. Seriously, like, that there's no reason. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. It hears my breathing over gunfire. Yeah, that, that fucking works. <sighs> Alright, so... Crowded... Um, why the fuck do they all begin with C? So, you're out. Um, you're out. Actually, no, you might be in. Uh-huh. I was about to give up on that one. But yeah, it heard my breathing. You know what? That is still a better law description than they actually give in the fucking game. 
somehow the enemy was intelligent enough that it pinpointed breathing over the sounds of other breathing gunfire good good description good good game top tier game design 10 out of 10 IGN most influential game of the decade in case you can't tell I fucking hate the last of us seriously I I did not like it like to me it was an okay game at best like seriously if you watch my grounded stream of it I get so fucking pissed like I said it's an okay game at best don't know story I remember liking even the story like Joel honestly just came across as being so incompetently stupid it's like hey Joel make yourself a shiv that protects you once from it's been like 10 years have to revisit you know what by all means if you want to see me rage so hard feel free to check out my grounded stream I think I skipped the cutscenes but I did do a standard race against my sister I feel free a little self promotion okay but seriously Joel survive survives in the world but who knows how long yet he is so much of an incompetent idiot that instead of carrying a knife that he can use in like any decent scenario no he would much rather create a shiv waste valuable resources and use that against doors clickers yeah the only game he played recently only zombie game was dying light no because then he'd be able to jump over stuff without needing to get a whole bunch of crap but look again to me personally it was mediocre it was okay I wouldn't say it was the best game But, I wouldn't say it was the absolute worst game. Oh, I guess I'm kind of salty that the fact that it's been remastered two fucking times like yeah let's 
we master the game twice and because it's such an influential game you have to you have to remaster twice all right what part am I up to 29 what was 29 boom down um yeah okay so here is why I find this um this guy's cheat sheet not that useful he has Boomtown. But it's just like both available only after finding the fixed cannon at location 30. But you have Boomtown as 29. So you'd be looking at Boomtown and then you'd be like, oh, wait, no, I need to go to 30 and then go back to 29. And then jump over to 31. And it's just like, okay. But. We need the... Um... Wait, where is it? Do, 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 do. Ah. How much do we even have left to look up here? Alright, so I have roughly four more locations. One is kind of useless. Yeah, I should be able to manage to get this done. Hopefully within half an hour, give or take. I don't know. Take your bets on how long this is going to take. I reckon before... Um... Five and a half hours. How come it's always the trauma harnesses that seem to have energy weapons? Like, the lobotomites seem to mostly focus on ballistic ones. But it's always usually the trauma harnesses that have energy. But seriously, my legs are broken. Can you stop running away, please? Have some... Oh, fuck you, then. Not even any mercy for poor cripple.
Um, I can tell you what upgrades I'm missing. The toaster. The auto dock. Um, the jukebox. And the light switch. So I've gotten most of them. I'm just missing a couple. Ah, shit. I just... You know what? You have to remind me before I finish this DLC. I need to recreate Roxy. I see. Favorite player home. This is actually my favorite player home, yeah. Compared to... Like, I guess it's kind of why I prefer Megaton over Tenpenny Tower. Like, yeah. You can kill everyone in Tenpenny Tower and have it all to yourself. But at the same time, fast traveling to it is... ...just way more annoying than it needs to be. Whereas a Megaton, you fast travel there, and your house isn't too far away. And the same when it comes to... The sink, you fast travel there, and it takes you two seconds to get in. Another thing that I think, uh, Roxy and, oh yeah, definitely Ten Penny Tower is a hard choice. Well, our three choices are much harder. No, it's not. Ten Penny Tower, you have to go fast travel. And then in, open up into the tower, take the elevator, and then it's so much more annoying to get to there. Plus, you can't customize it. Well, at least a Megaton, you've got, you know, various things that you can put in it. But, another reason that I kind of think, oh, I meant quest, yeah. Yeah, I suppose. But what do you expect? They got the main Bethesda treatment. Oh, don't. Oh, don't tell me. No, nope, I'm not stuck. Am I stuck? I don't want to be stuck. <sighs> really? Help guide. Help ghouls. Help tenpenny. Help both lose an all scenario. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, honestly, Tenpenny is kind of an arsehole. Actually, no. If I had to be honest. Tenpenny's tower is actually the good choice. Because Tenpenny, I don't think he really cares. And the other residents, they don't care too much. It's only Buck that is an asshole that wants Megaton nuked with everyone in it because Tenpenny is just like you did tell everyone to leave before detonating it right where you have Oi and his ghouls on the other hand they're being assholes from the get go like maybe not a complete just assholes. 
But even after you let them in, and you tell them, yeah, everyone is cool having ghouls in, he's just like, yep, let's kill everyone. Hey, Shell's Hurt. It's funny that you would mention Shell's Hurt after I just fired a shell. Oh, what's up, buddy? Oh, yeah. Crap. I was always really looking at notable loot. Um, I, uh... Hmm. Really not a whole lot of loot here. So, another reason why I kind of think the Think Tank might have an advantage over the Institute is I'm not sure if they can rotate these guns. Now, I am no artillery specialist, but does it look like they can rotate these? I mean, even though most of it is kind of blown to hell. It kind of looks like you might be able to. Because if the think tank... Like, it depends on if the think tank decides to attack the institute. Or vice versa. They might be able to shell their home base, at least I think, because I'm, I might be stuck again, uh, I'm not sure how it would go, given, I'm not sure if the institute could teleport synths into Big Mountain, or if they'd have to march them in. But if we go off Fallout 4's logic, I think that teleportation can be blocked. Did anyone just hear laughing? Was that me? I didn't just hear laughing, right? Yeah, that laughing was weird. I thought I was going insane. Or even more insane. I don't know. Um, but actually, speaking of anime. Yeah, it would be nice to play Fallout 1 and 2 on console. I'm not sure. You know what? Let's do a quick Google search while I talk about anime. Um, one good anime that I would recommend would have to be Slime Isekai. Or the time I was reincarnated as a slime.
Look, um, I thought I told you, stop complaining about my hoarding. So what if I have two, do I have two spoons? Um, you know, okay, maybe I do have a problem. You know, I may have a problem, but at least I am not, um, at least I'm not struggling, I don't fucking know, I can't even come, I can't even justify that. Um, I mean, I'm not complaining, or I'm not saying uh, that I'm not in denial. Might I be of service? I'm just saying I have no way to defend it. Yeesh, this guide, well, this cheat sheet, really does save, like, most of the things to last. Alright, so after we're done with that, we need to jump over to Boom Town. Boom. Because, again, it's like, oh yeah, Boom Town is 29, but then you have to go to 30, then you have to jump back to Boom Town, and it's just like, why couldn't you just say Boom Town in the first one? <sighs> now I need to find Can I not go more than five feet without a bottom mic trying to kill me? get some battle blue off that. Oh. Nope. Nope. Don't do it. Don't. Don't shoot. Yeah, didn't know about that.
Yeah, that. I don't even think there's a wiki page for that. And there is, it is the Boom Town Tog Zone, a strange cask. Wooden barrel can be found on top of a hill outside the fence, just northwest of the footlocker inside and on top of the cask. There are four battle brews. This cask can be moved and items can be stored within it. Direct from the oh, it's a single, yeah. Direct from the wiki itself. Oh, look at Mr. I know everything about this game. I've done all the wiki pages, I know everything. Ooh la la, I know how this. Didn't have done all this, but I didn't know about that. Huh. Shows what you know. I may have only implied that, but you're the one that specifically said, just ask me if there's anything you want to know about Fallout. I've gone through literally all the wiki pages. Um, I'm not the one that put those words into your mouth. Only you have done that. I just put that waypoint completely off, didn't I? I need the waypoint for give or take there. Can I not go more than five feet without being attacked by something? Yeah, I don't think it has a specific page. I'll have a look. Yeah, I don't think it has a specific page related to it. Because even if you go to the page... It's not even highlightable. Pretty much everything else is, except for that. Yeah, actually, yeah, because after I discovered vents, I explored the container type page. Yeah, there were two of them in the thing. One being inside the X-13 and Boomtown.
which is kind of odd that it's not its own thing. Like, the vents only appear that once, if I'm not mistaken. But yet, I'm actually not sure if they get a page. Seriously, can I go more than 10 feet without 15 lobotomites? Why must there be... Okay, look, I'm not gonna lie. If it wasn't for Brad Child, I would definitely be dead a hundred times over. Yeah, I don't have enough weight to go in. Need to discover it first. It does help me hoard more cams. That is true. And if you know me, I do like hoarding. Yeah, I don't think the um, big mountain guns can be turned. Which is kind of disappointing. I am not a hoarder. You can't prove me wrong. I don't have a problem, it's only you. I don't have an issue getting everything. It is clearly you that thinks I should not take stuff. Your storage is the same except for junk. Oh, why don't you store junk? Do you know how valuable junk can be? You could you could you could store so much junk. Slaps the roof of the stink. I just said stink. Slaps the roof of the sink. You can store so much junk there. Nope, so much junk. It doesn't have to be where you just need junk. Stop wasting horrible items that I can steal off you. Yeah, it would have been nice had you been here from the beginning. So that I didn't accidentally miss a couple of those rare items like the sheriff's outfit. But, you know, I'm just saying.
Um, let's see. Um, yeah, I already got the unique toy car. You can actually get two of them. I'm not sure if you knew that, but you can get two. You have to pick it up before you read the terminal. And then read through all the terminal entries. And if you do that, another one will spawn. And they'll both have the uh, Carol's toy car. I will show you once I get back to the sink, but I know that I should have to. So the pre-war stakes. Yeah, you, if I'm not mistaken, you only get them from the kitchen. It would be nice if, like, you could respawn them in, but as it stands, this is like, oh yeah, here's an item, but there's only one. I'm going to Am I going the right way to get out? But I do have the um, list saved. So once I eventually get up to dead money, I'll at least have that. wonder about that. Apparently the oh, three Lebromites will respawn in the cave whenever you use fast travel. So I kind of wonder if I can do that. I don't have an issue with hoarding. I'm just gonna deny it. You can't tell me anything wrong because I'm not saying I do. Uh, see? Two. What I don't have in this game is a good XP farming method.
Uh, yeah, I need to dump all this gear. Um, for ideas, give me a bit. Um, I go through three or so areas of farm for XP, refresh after a few days, and also get eight items for combat. I will see if this works, and I will let you know. Hmm. Okay, wait. Did the wiki lie? Okay, never mind. I thought this area would probably be good. Uh, since apparently three lobotomites spawn in a cave whenever fast travel is used. But I guess not. Um, I probably didn't lie. It's hmm. Oh, if you look, three lobotomites will respawn in the cave whenever fast travel is used, even if it has been cleared earlier. So, I don't know. I'm just going off the wiki. And that is what it says. But our next point is Ulysses. And then we need the medical facility. So, Ulysses point... Give or take, it's about there. So if we go to Boomtown, cut through there. Yeah, so I don't know if it's thing, but... That sounded like a decent way to farm XP. But, I guess not. I guess it's somewhat a shame you can't just do the Fallout 4 method of farming. Recently, useful information was just outright deleted there for seemingly no reason. So partly why I started making notes locally. 
why don't you just re-edit them back in? Good thing about this location, it's relatively short. Oh, you don't know how. Um, try asking to become a moderator or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, uh, medic, 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 medical. You literally have a little claw. You don't need hands. It literally has a little tiny claw that it can use to strangle me. And yet it's complaining that it doesn't have anything to strangle me with. I shouldn't have to give you tips on how to fucking kill me, okay? It's a sad day when you have to give something tips. Look, a little claw. You can use that claw, wrap it around my neck, and voila, you have a little tiny baby hand. Okay, tiny baby, that, that's, that's what you are. But no. Just likes to complain. Like, oh, I don't have anything to strangle you with. Field. Uh. Econ armor. No, yeah. so again, for me, if I was to put out the DLC for New Vegas.
Um, I prefer the right gear. Oh, actually, no, you know what one I prefer. I just can't wear it. But, um, yeah, the chained prostitute outfit. It does look pretty nice, honestly. If only I could run around in it. I would die in two seconds. I can't wear it because I die in two fucking seconds. It has like no damage resistance at all. You know what? Fuck you. I am going to wear it up against the dreaded Robo Scorpion. I will defeat it with the power of Sexy Blue Lady. And you will see. You will see the true dreaded power. End up with Ulysses Duster, not because I want it, but yeah, it's got those crit buffs. I mean, I don't know. It doesn't seem like that's the chained prostitute outfit. But what do I know? Yeah, Boone's kind of an arsehole. Apparently he doesn't like me because I have idolized by the Legion. And Boone's kind of it. Ow! I was... Seriously, in the middle of complaining about Boone being a little bitch. And he just had to come and attack me. Really. Trying. Who? I am going to very slowly chop you up. Yeah, the remnant power armor, I'm not gonna lie, does look kind of cool too. What am I doing? I have buff out. It's really not like I'm going to run out of buff out once I'm done with dead money. That's what I was talking about. Back to the DLC order. Like, I'm curious, because, about what you think. Do you think Dead Money being the first one was the correct option? In terms of, like, story-based. Because, again... You have a look at Dead Money. That's the end of Elijah and Christine's story. And then you kind of work your way back from there. Like, not too much, but you work back to Old World Blues. I mean, I guess they do mention Old World Blues or the Big Empty in Dead Money, so that might 
kind of explain it. Mm, the only one that makes sense for my build is the reinforced your magic armor. I think I mostly just go with whatever I can get my hands on. Um, Old World Blues ending confuses me though. Um, in what aspect does it confuse you? Um, new play release order found since I did the story makes more sense. It says the play character lived out the rest of his days there. I thought it said that only the brain does. And maybe it's kind of like it depends on, I guess, what ending you go with for New Vegas. Like, if you go for a new Vegas, that... Why haven't these not grown in yet? Is an independent. Um... Also, and I... It wouldn't surprise me if he kept jumping back and forth. Wait on all law. Let me look. I know that the brain, if you leave the brain there, then it stays there. Which I think you kind of have to leave the brain there anyway because of the glitch that it doesn't work that well. We have done Y17. Um, yeah, there's a I need to drink water first. Glitch that if you take your brain back, you don't properly get the perk. At least the perk doesn't work properly. I just realized I was supposed to... Uh. 
Yeah, I was watching a thing about Old World Blues and it said something about the perk not working correctly, so honestly I just leave the brain there. I'll try to heal my radiation, doesn't it? Yes. Am I no longer addicted, though? You might not trust videos, but like I said, that's what it said, so I think I checked it and it mentioned about it, so like, I've got no idea. Works probably or not. Either way, just leave it in there. Alright, now over to Higgs Village. Not gonna lie, I'm not looking forward to Stripe. Literally, the only one enemy there, and it's Stripe. Yeah, I think I got that wrong. It says for years to come, that's the closest, so I don't know what made me think. I'll check the brain. If you decide to leave the brain in the think tank, then even well, when it starts to deteriorate, it will refuse to go into the um, bio gel, which I find is kind of bittersweet. Hey, Stripe. Fuck. Nope. 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 I am not fighting Stripe on the ground. And you know what? Fuck it. Yeah, I took Wild Wasteland because there were certain items that you can only get of it, like Seymour, the Holy Hand Grenades. One downside is you are torn between a good Gorse Rifle or the Alien Blaster. Which mildly sucks because I want both of them. Nope. 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 You may be adorable, but I am a... Really? A 
Oh, really? I don't take it anymore because I took the perk every time for most of my playthroughs. Yeah, like I said, it's mostly just for the extra items that you can get. Yeah, I have not actually found either of them, but I would honestly prefer the Gorse Rifle. At least for that, you can get ammo. Nope, 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 nope. Seriously? 45 experience? Dude, fuck that. <sighs> that in no way was worth 45 experience. Now, why the fuck is Higgs Village under B? I think one of the reasons I don't like Higgs Village as much is at least the other ones there's enough to explore. With Higgs Village it's literally just, yep, okay, tiny little village. Look around. Alright, so we need House 101 first. Call of Victory in the rocket ship, which isn't even close to this house. Um.
This is the wrong one. I'm supposed to be off the double zero. As Dix distinctly not here we go. Product zero. You know, Muggy can't really complain that I well, about any of the cutlery not being washed. If I take everything, I'm not seeing the perk. I see DT bugs, but I mean, it's such a small amount of DT. I do like how you can easily tell which house is which based on like the interiors which honestly is still more effort than some games put in. I'm gonna need to head back to the sink, aren't I? I think you can play co-op on P4. 
PC, but it would be kind of nice if I had co-op on Xbox. But then again, I'm not really sure how well that would work. You know, apparently it's jank. Um, don't know. Haven't played it. So, cannot comment on it. You know, I don't have a hoarding problem. You have a hoarding problem. And I would defend the fact that I'm not a hoarder. Until it poses a severe health risk. Wait, where are the scrubs? Hmm. Did I get the scrubs already? Um, the player home I was using before Old, Old World Blues was store everything in a box. I don't actually trust the other player homes. Like, I can't get Novax because I haven't done that. I suppose there's Victors? Oh, I was completely looking in the... I thought the scrubs were in that room, but they weren't. This is gonna take a lucky 38, sweet. There's a unique drink, only one in the game, called Jake Juice. I did get that, yes. Um, actually, the reason that I do know about that is because I watched a video of, like, top 10 rarest items in New Vegas. Problem is, if you let your companions live in there, they ate items out of containers and of state tables. Yep, that's why I'm not using it. Nope. Everything stays where only I can take it. But as for the video, it showed off um is the two gnomes, cuddles the toy car, cuddles the toy car, the big red plate, 
mini sunset sarsaparilla bottle stuff like that the witch I had no idea that they existed yeah I think I've got a couple companions at the lucky 38 uh, but I didn't put anything in there so if they eat anything yeah they're just eating whatever the fuck's there Instead of not storing any where items there, don't store anything there at all. Another thing, never give companions unique weapons. Yeah, that was one thing that I honestly fucking hated in Fallout 4. Is that settlers would take items out of your containers. And it's just like... And that is my plasma pistol that you are taking. That is my armor that you are wearing. And that is everything of mine you are trying to fucking use. As opposed to, like, I wish... <sighs> well, it would be nice if there was an update for it. But it's just like, yep. Yeah, Settlers will upgrade their own gear without taking any of your stuff. But uh, I'm not gonna lie, Fallout 4 is fucking stupid. I just realized I said I was going to have this done by about five and a half hours. It is significantly past that, hasn't it? Yes. Well, what I mean is if you give a companion, say Veronica, for example, a unique power fist, she can be disarmed by enemies, meaning you can lose your unique item anywhere on the map. Yeah, that's a good point. Or, you don't give them anything because you're playing on hardcore. Hmm? Hmm? Don't, don't give them anything. Uh, let's see. What do you mean, eh? Do you mean about Fallout 4? Because, like, I've had it. Um, I don't think they use your aid, but yeah. I store loads on them. I usually don't like playing with companions to overpowered. I don't play with companions because it's on hardcore. And they just die. Yeah, I like Fallout 4 is okay. But honestly, yeah, it could have been better. Hmm. 
All right, wait. So this is. Alright, yeah, this is Boris's house. companion nerve. Oh, yeah. If they get too scared, they run away. I think that's what you're implying. I am not gonna lie. I really do not like Higgs Village because it takes ten years to explore and make sure you get everything. Uh, I didn't get the recipe, did I? Yeah, there's just a ripper in there. Mm. You know what? Usually, I like trying to steal everything. Wait. Where the fuck is house 104? Alright, so that's free. I would fall be all the way down here. How does that make sense? Uh, amount of charisma effect buffs added to companion. I did not know that. It would probably be probably be nice if my charisma wasn't at two. I'm not gonna lie. Dollar is fucking weird. I can only own that thinks that the dollar is kind of weird. Like, compared to everyone, uh, who's your favorite doctor? Yeah, I, I'm not gonna lie, I did not know that party time mentat stats of normal mentat stack of normal mentat. You like Dr. Eight? Yeah, Dr. Eight's not too bad. You'd think you'd be able to drink this water. <sighs> as weird as she is, I think Dala might be my favorite out of the think tank. Although Mobius is up there. 
just simply for mm, menta. <laughs> Time for another refreshing menta. Mmm, menta. Yeah, <laughs> doll is just stupid funny. It's like. All the burbling. I, you know, I think this is going to be my longest stream in like, I don't know how long. I think my last longest one was sometime during Fallout 4. The downside is, I don't even think I'm going to be halfway close to even done with this game. I still have three more DLCs, a bunch more skill books to look up, and just so much fucking shit that I need to do. You know what though, considering that my Fallout 4 survival merely only build, considering the fact that that took upwards of 50 videos, I mean granted they ranged from like 44 minutes to like 4 hours, but still. No, say Christmas 5 default, it's a 25% buff to damage to all companions. At 10 to 50, so like giving them a cycle to if you're at 1 Christmas. It's supposed to also affect armor, but that part is bugged, just damage. Oh wait, yeah, no, I think mine's stuck at 1. Yeah. One, because I didn't take the implant. All right. Now, after that, I just need Ulysses point, and then the antenna array. Before I forget.
So if you're losing mid-fight, you can boost companion damage by taking Cosmo. Um, I will keep that in mind if the only companion I ever use was not just the immortal EDE in Lonesome Mode. But that might probably stop him from being destroyed every 10 seconds. Okay. Um, the order post you made it has a list of all those items people recommended. Um, no. So I um yeah. So I made a Reddit post asking if there was like a list of every unique item that there was. Literally, no one responded one guy responded and that was to say that it's pretty much impossible to get 10 on every special point for New Vegas and for skill points you needed to have high intelligence take educated and the comprehension one so it was Fucking useless. Oh, no, it's just like screw it if it's not going to work. Just delete it. <sighs> High intelligence is a bit misleading and you absolutely don't need both perks. Yeah, I mean even if you get rid of the five skill points or the additional 15 skill points I'm skilled yeah you're still gonna get pretty close like add another five onto all these and that's pretty much what it is mm. I wonder if I can leave Oxy over at the sink. I do have to admit though, the red actually does kind of look nice. I like that little canine on her butt. That's kind of funny. Alright, we are nearing the end of Old World Blues. For fuck's sake, Roxy, I gave you one job. One. Um, what Lonesome Road fuck? Oh yeah, the Bed Off Alone. I don't know, because I like having... EDE. I don't like sacrificing EDE. Where the fuck did Roxy go? Does Oxy just stay in here? Um, I don't hoover in Lonesome Road DLC on purpose. I 
I don't think Oxy escapes, does she? She just stays there. <sighs> Alright. Yeah. Yeah, fair. Really not much point aside from some farming, I guess. One spot. Do you mean the one spot or the spot to spawn if you decide to nuke them? Uh, forget the name. Difficult area. I know that two spots can appear if you nuke both the NCR and the Legion. Um, if it's an area with the DLC, I have no idea. Again, I have not played, or I have not completed it for ages. That's what I need, apparently. Uh, so now, I have to try and find a good spot to get radiation. And apparently not get shot at.
let us have a look at the Courier's Mile while I still wait for this fucking radiation. Depends. Do you need to launch the missiles or no? Yeah, I'll have to see once I get up to it. <sighs> Do I have enough radiation? What's the healing at? Ah, 4 HP. Ah. Anything that gives me radiation? Yeah, so I think you do need to launch the missile. I'm not sure which the good ending is, aborting the launch or launching. So, yeah, once I get up to it, I'll have to see. Go to the think tank. I need to activate. Uh, I need to do Boris's quest, handle him. Yeah, I think I've got enough radiation that I don't need to drink from the water sources. I also just kind of wonder for the giant oboe scorpion.
and no matter how cammed the food, he would always eat it, and his tail would wag, even, even while I, I, you know, I'm having the most perplexing feeling squiggling through my biogel. Why, yes, Gabe. No matter how awful my day had been, he, he was always waiting there. How odd. My gel is decoagulating. And when I would talk to him about Betsy, and how Marcus as much as I hate boss, call me smarty sissy pats, he'd just sit there, head on my knee, and... Poor Gabe. If you don't mind, I'll take that ball. Just need to remove it. Put it away. For some reason, its similarity to the crater shape of Big Mountain is starting to fill up all available cognitive space. That, combined with my own overwhelming feeling of having done something terrible, the two were hitting me with unexpected force. As odd as it is, I believe that is the conclusion. And this sensation is unpleasant. I don't care for it. I don't care for this place either. And I feel as if we've forgotten something. Still, it is no matter. Crush. I do not need to remember. Thanks so much for sparing Gabe. I know he's really But you needed none of that. You're quite elusive. Or f That's science, not speech. I was just like, oh, science. I can handle that. Oh, speech. Okay, why is it only there if you have enough science? Did you retrieve? Yeah, because I had that before and I was just like, okay, I'll bump up my science and then when I try to find it again, go on. So I honestly have no idea. Uh, which one is medicine again?
I do have a medicine one, right? I don't have a medicine book. Um, go to Jenny May's house, stand and steal. Nobody cares. Now, if you kill her first, suddenly it gives you negative. No back up. Hmm, that is weird. I just go to Big Mountain. I need to bump my medicine up. I think I should have a couple of power that should bump up medicine. I think... How do I not have a medicine book? What did I... I'm going on the assumption that I put it away. Did you retrieve the tech? Stealing in the game confuses me in general, like what items that nobody seems to care about. If you take like owned but not stealable items like plants in good springs marked right, but seemingly no consequence. Yeah. Another weird thing is um I just want to see some, because I'm not sure if they'd still be marked, but I'll let you know. Oh, actually, you probably already do. But if you go to the Repcon area, the area with the ghouls, that stuff is marked owned which is weird 
because the ghouls aren't permanently there. It's too bad I'm not on PC, because then I would probably be playing a lot more games. Okay, you know what, maybe I shouldn't have come here. It's like, if you come here, that stuff's unowned. I have no idea why the music is picking up like it's some intense action scene. Yeah, see, like, who does this belong to? Like, you lose karma, but... Who the fuck does it belong to? Certainly none of the ghouls, they can't claim this stuff. I mean, unless it's the people in Novak. But then if they owned this stuff, like, they use this place for salvage. So I don't think it's them. I mean, this stuff I'd buy belongs to them. Like, I'd buy that these supplies belong to them. But they're long gone. But then that brings up the question. As soon as I find something that no one cares about. Why do they care about random scrap metal? A pilot light, like... I don't know. Things be weird. Alright, I'm pretty sure I've done all I can with the think tank. All that's literally left is...
two things. Getting into somewhere and getting the antenna, and then I am done with Old World Blues. I am probably going to spend a bit of time just farming cast and doing a glitch to get infinite money. Buying a shit ton of ammo, storing it, and yeah. Essentially, I'm just going to buy like a ton of ammo. Which, like, there's another reason as to why I prefer the sink as a player home over anything else. Because like I said, you can just immediately teleport there. I mean, give or take, but not that much. Teleport in, move in, deposit everything, and then you're pretty much just set. And best tools. Like, even on hardcore, it's still a pretty good boon for it. You've got fresh water, healing, food, ammo workbench. Damn it, how come, how come it didn't turn into a little attache case? Uh, I am officially disappointed. It got to be in like a little special, special container, but when I drop it, it's just boring. I need answers. I should say, I need answers and I need fucking food. I've been... Dude, how long have I been streaming? Close to seven hours. I expected to get this done at about the five and a half hour mark. No, don't even care. Literally just running right fast. Nope, don't care. Don't care. Nope. Um, not the whole DLC. I have several on the DLC. I just expected to be done in this session in five and a half hours. Have 
I forgot you can just do this and it doesn't kill you. Wait, is that a challenge for that? I didn't even know about some of these. Yeah, admittedly, it would be nice. If they gave you some stuff, like I know, the slight purr buff or something. Wait, did I not get the other light switch? <sighs> I what did I did? Yeah, no, I could have. So, yeah, to Charisma. Yeah, wait. Why did I forget it? I touch one upgrade. Light switch one. And 25, which is as soon as I can find it on this fucking map. In the X12 Research Center. Might I be of You require some additional service. Uh, honestly, I kind of prefer the um, personalities on, but they do get a little annoying at times. I only leave them on for the end card where they all stay on and then after that, boop them off. Alright. Where did I leave this thing? You know what? Not even gonna talk about it. Not. Not at all. Nope. 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 Everything is perfectly fine.
Did you mean you forget you can climb the dome? How can I illuminate? Citizen. All right, I forgot the fucking jukebox. up to 80. You're up to 80. Now, let's see. What one do we want? So them's good eating is good. Tagged, I forget what I tagged in the beginning, but I know I went explosive for the Caesar's Legion XP thingy, so I could get to that quicker. be good if I could remember what the stealth now um traits are usually just skilled and wild wasteland all the other ones really are kind of eh uh, don't need don't that one might be good. So it's up there. Same with Shotgun Surgeon. What should I go with? Mad Bomber or Shotgun Surgeon? Maybe that one. Uh, shotgun surgeon for now it is alright that should literally be wait what did, did I not I get that I get good Did I not? Was the hat? Did I not find all the audio samples? What the hell? Oh, yeah, the, okay, yeah, the last one's over there. Alright, I literally think... 
that should be everything. Almost everything. Fuck, I've got to actually get to the fucking dome. I've been streaming this for seven hours. I completely forgot what part of the general story I was fucking up to. Um, but what does Far Shot and Hot Blooded do? Yeah, for me, I just take skilled because, eh, I like having them all up to 100, or at least close. Uh, Voracious Reader Park, and uh, not really much of a point to, I guess. Mm, I just like it. I haven't got 100 in each, each skill currently on this game, so I kind of wanted to do that at least once. <sighs> Fast shot, 20% more fire rate, 20% less accurate, and um, steady negates that penalty, and hot-blooded is Oh, I know that there's two that are kind of the same, but they cancel each other out. I do have to admit that it loading up does look kind of cool. percent damage when your health is below 50 percent as someone that does not like having their health dip below 50 percent I don't think I'd take that Uh, meant to save you, like, when you're both about to die. Gives you an edge. Mm, place stealth range build so I can hover at just below and avoid damage in general. Yeah, that's fair. For me, it's usually just been a straightforward build. Go in, shoot, leave. I mean, I guess stealth builds would be better for hardcore survival. <sighs> I don't want to hurt the scorpion. Where are... Where was the 
shutdown terminal. Well, I know where the shutdown terminal is. There's the code for it. An intruder is here. I'm certain of it. The code for it's near the exit? I thought it was near the entrance. Oh, yeah, no. I know where the terminal is. I'm trying to find... I see, there's a terminal. I'm trying to find the code for it. I think it's down over there. Do you mean you wish the Robo Scorpion was more powerful? Why would you potentially want that? Should have put 10 legendary bloat flies. Yeah, no. No one would want that. No one would be able to complete it. Okay, <sighs> fuck this. Time to find where the bloody code is. Ah, oh, it's by the protectrons. You could say they're protecting on it. That thing is just not even giving a shit, is it? Um, but if you get a couple clips showing it off, just... Well, you're on Xbox, right? Watch your game attack. I can just look it up there. about the robotic expert thing. Uh, stealth shoot the thing in the face of a high fire rate and all well, the chems goes down like maybe less than 40 seconds. I know, I just like doing this shutdown. And now for the dreaded evil Mobius. It is honestly just funny. Huh? Yo! Hello there! Uh, you are there!
so I need perception and medication. My my game attack is literally the, the same as well, my. Well, look who finally dragged themselves in out. But the, it's just it's the same thing. Ah, well, as to that, you'd be surprised how hard a feminine-sounding voice modulator is to find in the Forbidden Zone. It's not. A Don't worry about. Um, I have no idea if it allows you to send videos or not. All I know is I am just looking forward to ending this DLC. And going to have something to eat, something to drink, because I have not in the seven fucking hours. And yep, that I have to deal with the Robo Scorpions, I have to run away oh, the Scorpions. <sighs> there are no Scorpions. Never mind. Almost done. And then by the time I next stream, I should have. What is essentially an endless supply of ammo, gear, guns, everything. It's not gonna make me too overpowered because I still have to fucking carry them. But I shouldn't run out of anything. Um, I actually do not have any of them I don't have smart glass or the Xbox app on my phone I probably should 
I just haven't gotten around to it. Um, you know what? Just, just can you not send them via message? Just someone you could send them via message. Nonsense. Confer. Yeah, like if you're on Those Xbox. Are two words I do not recognize. Load up Dr. the Clyde, clip, go to share, intercept. and then Please send a message. Do not harm the lobotomite. I'm not going to harm it. I cannot stand a breathing, a sweet breathing organism breathing in and out to suddenly not breathe. We must keep it alive for study. A slow study. Gala, these vocalized pauses are unlike you. What do you care? Fine, uh, you know, this lobotomite, it's a great sounding board. You respect ideology, right? This one's, well, it's got good ideas. Silence, Doctor. Oh. oh. Well, this is a why think you delete tank your old account, then? Save your objections until after I have decided our course of action. Ah, uh, you know but... Fine? Stick a straw in your tank and suck yourself. Mm. Long and deep. And my name is Zero. I have no yeah, idea, then. A big, fat Zero. With a slash through it. The slash? As a designator of... Why, that is brilliant. But how did you... The lobotomite taught me that. Taught me a name is more than, um... That I should take pride in... Things. Like... Names. And... You know what? Forget it, Klein. I hate you! And your theory of Bringle Beam Oscillation? The Chinese had it first, you copycat! How? Dare you! Brainial beam oscillation was solely my discovery! I expressly told you that and did It's too late. Why are you acting like A noble speech, but there is no room in my vocabulators for friend. Perhaps you are irradiated with camaraderie radiation. We have chems. If I may, I feel as if I must be the voice of... This lobotomite is much like us. Regarding even animals and pets is nothing more than avenues to promote science. There is good here. Instead of ending its life on the table, we should prolong its suffering. Why am I even... And the word jism, which never made any sense to me. It's ridiculous putting j and z together like that. Nonsense! I count as five, like the mighty human hand I once had, with its five penises clenched in a fist. Nonsense! The mathematics of this situation are on our side, lobotomite. I believe... No, wait. Hmm. Carry the two. Hmm. If this were a democracy, I would be concerned. We you dare use logic? That's no deal at all. We could have escaped. Seen it all. For you? And for science? I have a strange sensation that I would like that. How odd. Very well, partner. The thing. <sighs> we are finally done.
For me, personally, though, I probably would not make a new account. Um, I have been combanned several times, though, so that's a bit disconcerting. But in my defense, the people that I was combanned for shit-talking, they started it. I literally got combanned for saying no homo. Like, literally, this guy kept sending messages to me because I was on the enemy team in a game of Paladins, and I was just like, dude, no homo. And that got me fucking combanned. The other time, I was on Dead by Daylight. <sighs> Fortunately, nothing too bad, but I, if given the option, I would not make a new account. I mean, I have made new accounts, just, you know, not give up this one. As it had been in the years before the Great War, Big Mountain, the Big Empty, uh, we are done. To one of the brightest we are done. Of the 23rd done. Century. Done. Done. The courier watched done. over the Big Empty for years to come, caring for it and keeping its discoveries safe until they were needed to help others. Which had always been Big Mountain's purpose. Past the laboratories and science, it had always been intended as a place to build the future of all mankind. The SYNC Central Intelligence Unit was impressed by the amount of exploration the Courier had undertaken. Facilities believed lost, destroyed, or ones that had simply gotten up and walked to new locations, had been rediscovered by its intrepid new master. Internally, the artificial personality debated as to whether it preferred the old management to the new, and concluded that the Courier's thorough approach to research and investigation was admirable and worthy of its respect. Dr. Mobius continued his research undisturbed in the Forbidden Zone. As much as he had attempted to create better scorpions, he tried the same with humanity, with considerably less success. These failures didn't bother him over much. Once the rush of Mentats wore off, he forgot he had failed in any event. After all, the bright young mind who had come to visit him in the Forbidden Zone had already exceeded his expectations. The sink atop the dome bustled with the voices of a small town, constantly chirping, arguing, and snarling at each other. Still, this all happened productively in the interests of its new owner. The SYNC Central Intelligence Unit discovered, despite its inversion code, it was comforted by the sense of community the other personalities gave it. The biological research station, obsessed with seeding everything in sight, requested a transfer to the X-22 Botanical Garden, so that it might, in its own words, sensually fertilize the garden's smooth contours. The garden sent back a polite refusal, saying it had prior commitments with a vault it had helped infect before the war. The book shoot continued to devour all seditious materials until it nearly choked on a paperclip. It adamantly maintained it was a Chinese paperclip, and the whole thing had been an elaborately orchestrated assassination attempt. Whatever the reason, it slowed down for a while, carefully appraising each document and clipboard that came to it. The light switches continued to bicker and flicker. This persisted until the day someone dropped a flashlight in the sink, and the two of them united in their hatred of the showboat. One of them eventually transferred to the Lightwave Dynamics plant and began a long, unrequited affair with one of the holograms. The thing continued to ruthlessly scrub any particulate matter that came near it. Eventually, it gained access to the Magneto Hydraulics plant and nearly flooded all the big empty in an attempt to scrub the crater clean. 
Once it learned of the innovative toxins plant, however, it gained new purpose. It sought to develop antitoxins to flush into its drains and counteract the poisons bleeding into the soil. The toaster continued its psychotic spree, reducing all appliances in range to scrap electronics and spare parts. After one of its more psychotic episodes, however, the other sink personalities decided enough was enough and dumped the toaster in a bathtub. Sparking and hissing, the toaster swore its enemies would rue the day when they had bread and no way to toast it. Muggy did his best to collect coffee cups, although in his quest, he accidentally trapped himself in Higgs Village. It might have been the end for poor Muggy, except he found it peaceful there tidying up the kitchens of the think tank professors back when they had been flesh and bone. Well, except for Dr. O, who was an asshole for having created Muggy in the first place. Muggy left O's house deliberately dirty, punishing the dishes and cups that lived there in blind revenge for serving Dr. O. Blind O. Jefferson with sounds the courier brought him, created a symphonic counter-frequency that saved Big Mountain from sonic invasion in 2910. If you didn't hear about it, good. It was rumored by the other personalities that he had a brief fling with the light switches. Although he forgot their names once too often and was soon left in the dark as punishment. Autodoc, always gentle and methodical, kept sewing up the courier in all the right places when the skin split open from repeated wear and tear. The Autodoc was just glad to have purpose again. It heard its simpler brothers and sisters who got shipped to the Sierra Madre bored out of their skulls in that toxic dead city. In time, the Autodoc found a way to deactivate the Y-17 trauma harnesses, releasing the corpses they had held prisoner for almost 200 years. As the courier ran through the X-8 facility multiple times, the computers analyzed the test subject's movements. Rather than performing a superficial observation, they realized the subject barely knew what communism was, or even what a high school was. This confused them for a time, until the facility finally realized that its research had succeeded. So it let its cyber dogs out into the wastes to help protect small communities from physical aggression rather than communist propaganda. The infiltration program in X-13 felt spent, having repeatedly upgraded the stealth suit until it could upgrade it no more. It felt warm, fulfilled, and a bit sluggish. It realized not long after, the stealth suit had left it without so much as a note on the nightstand. So the infiltration program sent out robo-brains into the wastes, looking for its wayward technology. It eventually found Repcon HQ and set up a new research center, testing and murdering fiends who kept breaking into the facility. The courier left the brain at the big empty. A strange thing to say, but it was the truth. Brains are less important than they may seem. When the courier's body finally passed, the brain was saddened. It kept on, remembering the vessel that had once contained it. Even at the end, when it started to fail, however, the brain resisted going into a floating chassis like the think tank. It never said why. Perhaps it was out of respect for the courier's body.
all things must come to an end. And to hang on to the past is something that's not to be undertaken lightly. Dr. Klein and the think tank remained alive, unaware of the world outside. They looped through their daily routine, none the wiser about the world beyond. Although perhaps wiser was the wrong word. The world outside belonged to the Courier, and if anyone would shape it, well, the Courier had already called dibs. There is an expression in the wasteland, Old World Blues. It refers to those so obsessed with the past, they can't see the present, much less the future, for what it is. They stare into the what was, eyes like pilot lights, guttering and spent, as the realities of their world continue on around them. Science is a long, steady progression into the future. What may seem a sudden event often isn't felt for years, even centuries to come. In the times following the Second Battle of Hoover Dam, however, Old World Blues took on a new meaning. Where once it was viewed as a form of sadness, nostalgia, it became an expression describing the potential for the future. It can be easy to see science as evil, technology unchecked as the source of all ills, all misfortunes. With the courier at the helm, science became a beacon for the future. There was Old World Blues, a new world hope. And hope ruled the day at Big Mountain. We could say more, but the stories in the Big Empty speak for themselves. Now armed with the Transportal Ponder, the Courier could return to the Dome at any time and crack open the secrets of the Big Empty one by one. The Sink sat vigilant, waiting for its master to return, shoes covered in Mojave dust. Only one road yet remained, and it was one the courier had to walk alone. Right, that is finally the end of Old World Blues. Um, Huzzah, sir! Huzzah! Huzzah, sir! <laughs> Uh, let's see, what should we bump up? Um, yeah, we, um, well, that does sound like a decent strategy to have to account. Honestly, though, I I don't play as many online games. Like I think the main one the main one that I play is Dead by Daylight, which regrettably can be kind of toxic at times. But for now, thanks for sticking by a seventy-six. I am going to call it here by the time I next start playing. Oh, you buy physical? Yeah, for me, I pretty much solely just buy um, digital. But that's mostly because I don't have a lot of space in my room that I can store a bunch of physical discs. But Again, by the time I next start playing, I should have a shit ton of ammo, guns, and just everything. Yeah, they can't take the physical disc away. But at the same time, I just have way too much stuff that I... I have, like, a ton of... Xbox, Xbox 360, PlayStation 2, PS1, Someday, a whole bunch of I'd like other. To meet a man who's got no blues.
used to see console games that if I were to add PlayStation 4 and Xbox One games onto it, <sighs> I'd have too many. But for now, I am calling it. I'm going to have something to eat and relax. Fucking how long has this been going on for? Almost eight fucking hours. Holy shit. But bye for now.